Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we get to take a look at another of these amazing Vitae fossil replicas, as this time we are going to look at the Cynoceropteryx, and again, at first glance, it looks just as beautiful as the Archaeopteryx that we looked at last time. This overall has such a beautiful appearance to it, and again, it's something that's very striking, very eye-catching, something that's really going to turn the heads of people that come into your dinosaur room when they see something very cool like this hanging on your wall. So as always, Vitae delivering a completely beautiful 100% quality product. As far as the box goes, of course up here we've got Vitae and Dinosaur Studio, Cynoceropteryx Prima, I believe is how you say the name, and then on the back we've got some information on the Cynoceropteryx itself. And then come down here, we've got an absolutely beautiful image of said species while it was still alive. But we are here to look at the actual fossil replica, so let's go ahead, break it out of its box, and take a look at it. So there we go, we've got it out, we're taking a nice look at it. Again, as previously, we saw it has a beautiful black frame, similar to what we saw with the Archaeopteryx and the frame itself just makes the entire presentation of this just look so beautiful. I definitely am a big fan of the frame, and the actual fossil replica itself looks super, super cool. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at it. So if we start here at the head sculpt of the actual fossil replica, you can again really see how nicely they've done as far as making this look very realistic. It honestly looks like it's, uh, Kind of just the outline of the species itself. It hasn't been excavated too far, and uh, we're basically just starting to uncover this species at this point, or at least that's the feeling that I get from this actual replica. You can see that the areas of the skull and everything that should be really elaborated to make you take note of the fact that it is in fact the skull has been really nicely portrayed here, and it's been put in very nicely. As you move down here into the neck, you can start to really take note of the bone structure. And uh, there's the rib cage there. You can kind of see the arms are jumbled a little bit here as the bones are kind of all over the place considering this is supposed to be uh, an appearance of something that's being excavated at this point in time. And uh, the bones aren't going to be perfectly placed. This actual dinosaur hasn't been put together or anything for a museum, so it's uh, very nicely done with the way it looks. As we move back here, you can take note of a few more bones just kind of sticking out here and also take note of the actual leg. The one leg here runs all the way down past the frame, again really making it look quite cool. And the other leg here is curled up a little bit behind it and you can again take note of some very nice bone structure throughout the uh, scattered bones that you do see. And then we start to run up the length of this insanely long Cynoceropteryx tail. It goes all the way up and then even past the point of the actual frame. You can once again take note of some bones that are just scattered all throughout and they've done a good job of elaborating those bones with a different coloration to really put your attention on them and make you take note of them. I think the overall appearance of this little fossil replica looks fantastic and also the actual stone and everything that it's being excavated from and the soil and everything looks really nice. It's been beautifully painted and weathered and looks very real. It has so many different tones of coloration, giving it such a realistic look. And similar to the Archaeopteryx, it really feels like they just kind of started to uncover a very small dinosaur, cut out a chunk of rock all around it, threw it in a frame, and here it is for us to enjoy. So absolutely beautiful on the part of Vitae yet again. As far as a size goes on this particular fossil replica, for a width, you are looking at about 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters. And for a height, you can't really see it on the camera, but it is 10 inches or about 25 and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, there is the Papo T Rex next to the Vitae Cynoceropter Rex fossil replica, giving you a pretty good idea of how large this actually is. It's not super huge, but compared to the Rex, it does look quite large. The Rex is a fairly big prehistoric model himself, so this really shows you the decent size here of this replica. And for another size comparison, here is the oh-so-beautiful Vitae Chelantesaurus, and you can again see how much larger this replica here is compared to this beautiful Vitae figure that they released a while back. 
this is definitely a very very good size and uh, I feel like it's pretty much the perfect size for something like this because this is a very small dinosaur species compared to a lot of others so the actual fossil replica should be a bit smaller and I think they've done a great job on the overall size and appearance of this. So these Vitae fossil replicas are just super awesome. I love these things. They are something that not too many companies do. And in fact, I can't really think of any other companies besides Rebor that has ever done something like this. And they only ever did it once. And this is only the second of quite a few of these that have been released by Vitae. So Vitae going straight ahead, taking charge and pulling out these absolutely fantastic fossil replicas repeatedly for us to enjoy and they've actually just recently started some sort of new colorations on them which I also think really looks cool I'm not sure when they'll be released if they aren't already but uh, if they do release them it's something that I think will give people very cool options as far as what they want their fossil replicas to look like and uh, something that you may definitely want to pick up in the future but these ones here that they currently have out are absolutely fantastic this one just looks so beautiful once again it's uh, very similar to the Archaeopteryx with the way it looks it honestly looks in general like it's a real piece of rock that someone brought here with the remains of a dinosaur sitting right here in front of me just for me to love and enjoy every single day I think they've done a great job as far as painting the actual dinosaur itself out and really making you take note of where it is on the actual stone and soil area and the soil itself and the rock and everything just looks really realistic. They've done a great job on painting that as well, giving it many different colorations and tones and just in general making it look very realistic. So this is another surefire win out of Vitae. So if you do want to order this, I will throw a link in the description to AliExpress where you can order one for yourself. And I will also throw a link to Monster House HK where you can also order this there. Either way, I highly recommend it, and I definitely recommend buying from either of those two websites. So go ahead, click the links, order yourself an amazing Vitae fossil replica, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.